It's not often that I can find words to express how I feel. But that process of going back, I was escorted to the police, to the plane by police. And to come back and say that I have to prove I was deported, it's painful. Lizette King, the Vincentian American social activist who was deported after she supposedly failed to present herself to the nearest immigration officer to produce her bags to a customs officer as required by customs officials, as well as for allegedly impeding the carrying out of any search for anything which is liable to search by not presenting herself to the customs officer, was acquitted by the Serious Offenses Court on Tuesday, October 26th. King, it was said, ran afoul of local travel protocols at the Argyle International Airport on January 30th, 2021, when an alleged altercation between herself and a health ministry staffer ended with King being escorted back onto the aircraft she had just disembarked. When she returned to St. Vincent and the Grenadines some time later, she was arrested and charged for the same incident. I raised a um, preliminary objection in this matter that the whole matter was an abuse of process because the state had wrongfully deported Miss King without going through due process. And having wrongfully deported her, they waited until she came back and then charge her for the same offense that they had deported her. So I said that it was an abuse of process and the proceeding should be stayed. We gave our submissions, the prosecution defended it. They had to admit that she was detained for breach of public health, the public health law, but they did not charge her under the public health law. It is clearly, clearly that this was an abusive process and this was victimization and that they did this only because of who Miss King is. And I'm grateful that she has been cleared and she now can bring an action against the government for false imprisonment and malicious prosecution. I hope she will. You, you, you mentioned in court that this, um, the, the, the ruling today by um, Chief Magistrate Brown, something of a, of a precedent. Well, uh, this is probably about the third time I am taking the objection of abuse of process. It's a, an objection that is not taken very often because um, sometimes they just go un, unredressed. And I am happy that it was upheld. I think the time before that I took it, it was also upheld. Three times actually, I've had this actual abuse of process upheld. Many times the prosecution abused their rights, but persons don't take them on. And I'm happy this morning that Ms. King has been acquitted. She didn't even have to go through a trial, even though the trial was imminent. So therefore she has been indeed maliciously prosecuted, certainly maliciously um, imprisoned. Uh, Ms. King, would you, would you care to um, share your thoughts on, on the ruling today? It's not often that I can find words to express how I feel. But that process of going back, I was escorted to the police, to the plane by police. And to come back and say that I have to prove I was deported, it's painful. I'm not going to say any more other than to thank the team of lawyers, Quebecers leading, and not in order of importance, my Eustace Swiss here, Rivera Leacock, and, um, and Ronia, who can't be here. I have to thank them. I also have to thank my niece, Adriana, and Kenson, who I believe put this team together while I was harassed behind doors. As Kay has indicated, this matter will not be left. I don't know who tell these people that Lucette King will lie down and play dead. It will not be left. So I have nothing else to say until the lawyers come together and advise me the steps forward.